Welcome guys to another video. So we are going to talk today really quickly about the table and the little uh, modification that I had to make to the lagging table. Um, so let's get into it. So here is my lagging table. Um, I guess like the base of it and the pole. So you've seen in another video maybe how this is adjustable, the height. Um, but for, for the lagging table to work in my van, I basically had to mount this upside down. So generally, this part here would be around and on the top. So then when you slide the table on it, um, the gravity of the table just always stays on, you know? But in this case, I had to mount it upside down because when I lift this couch up, if I mounted this base down here, that would interfere with it. So that's why I had to mount it upside down. So it all works fine, and but I'll show you the little problem that I had and how I fixed it. So this is the t this is the table, and this is the I guess the swivel arm, which attaches to there. So see that it, it's got to go up, and if you swivel this around enough times. Well, it'll just it'll want to come off it wants to keep coming off so I had to find out a way to keep this bit here um, connected so what I did is I used um, something called a tap so this threads you drill a hole in the bottom of here and I used a tap to make a thread in the bottom here then I used a simple bolt and a washer and that can thread into the bottom so there's the hole that I drilled and threaded. And then this can thread like that. And that's a uh, pretty strong plastic. So yeah, this basically, once it's done up, it's really tight and sturdy. So I'll just show you how that works. So first we put the table on and then I put the bolt in. So now I can swivel this as much as I want. And this does not fall down like that because this bolt down here, see that washer in the bolt? It's holding, it's putting pressure onto this. So that is an easy fix if you ran into the same problem I did. This lag and table I highly recommend if you're living in a van or something like that. It's really versatile. And I'll just tell you quickly that you buy all the, the aluminium parts that you can see. But the tabletop you have to supply your own. So I just bought a, a bit of, you know, a tabletop or a bench top from Bunnings, a real cheap one. And cut it up and made it and mounted it to the lag and setup. So, yeah, I'll show you a few different ways a lagging table can be, you know, set up and how we use it. So first of all, the most obvious answer is it can be used as just a general table. You can eat on it, you can work on it as a lap, um, with your laptop. Um, pretty much, yeah, that's the most basic way and probably the most common way we use it, just as a general table while the bed is in uh, couch mode. This is also height adjustable, so it can go higher or lower. And yeah, you've got these little um, wing nuts here that you can, you can tighten up so it doesn't um, swivel as easy. And there's also one underneath here because this table can also swivel as well like that. I've never used it like this before, but I guess technically if you're cooking or doing something here, you could use it as, as an extra um, bench top space. I've never used it, but there's another option. So another way to use the table is if you've got the bed set up, um, if you want to have dinner or whatever in bed, work as an office in bed, um, you can just have a simple table like this. And another good thing about having everything in this corner is that the power point and the 12 volt point and everything is there. So if you do have a laptop, you can plug it all in or charge your phones or whatever. So that's really cool. So all you have to do to change it from that way is to just swivel it like this and it becomes you know, like a movie theater. You can just lie back down in bed and, you know, have, have watch a movie or do whatever, watch some YouTube. 
So yeah, you can use this table in so many, so many different ways. Super versatile, um, so I highly recommend it. And if you do run into the problem that I ran into, just uh, tap a little thread in the bottom and use a thick bolt to secure it and you won't have any problems at all. So that's the quick fix for that. I hope that helps. I hope all these videos help in this van conversion and everything. I hope they inspire you. Thank you so much for being subscribed and watching and liking and commenting. I really enjoy getting back to you guys. If you do have any questions or anything, just hit me up in YouTube in the, in the comments below or hit me up on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Recently I've been thinking about doing a Q&A, like a live Q&A. So if you guys would be interested in something like that um, here on YouTube, just comment in the description if you would be interested and I can answer your questions and everything live on YouTube chat. So if you guys are interested in that, um, follow me on Instagram and all my socials if you're interested in keeping up with me. So I will see you guys in the next video. Catch us.